Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We're about to go on to the Mad Mile here. Well, I'm about to go right the way back round on myself. But I see an accident that's just happened. Do you actually try and work out what the hell has happened when you see an accident? I sometimes do. I sometimes watch other channels where you see an accident and there's no way that without a dash cam that you would figure out where these cars have come from and all that sort of stuff. I don't think the Waitrose is at fault here, but I might be wrong. When we go to the rear camera, I'll show you what I think's happened here. I may be totally wrong, but let me know in the comments down below what you think just by looking at this, this little video here. See now I think that Waitrose van there is very hard to move. I think it's going down here with me now. That van there I think has come out of there and has been spun round and then boom right there. Now them Waitrose vans, them sort of uh, delivery trucks, they're quite heavy so I don't think that's going to move much. The other one, they're just lightweight shells them vans and I think that that's what's happened. Let us know if you think I'm miles out or I'm correct on that one. This is me coming down the same road to go onto the Mad Mile. Six minutes later. No, there isn't another crash. They've moved them over to the side now. But there's two vans now. His mate's turned up. Bit of moral support. Or maybe he's saying to him, it is priority to traffic approaching from the right. But now we're looking at this Fiat in front of us. Yep, the apprenticed Audi driver. Yes, the car in front of it is lane hogging and shouldn't be there. But two wrongs don't make a right. They never do. Now in this clip, you'll see on the floor in a minute, there is a great big keep clear sign on the floor. It's huge. And the camera doesn't do it justice. It is really huge. It's massive. But it's still not big enough for some people. And I wouldn't mind if she wasn't driving that slow. Look how slow she's driving. Here comes Dorothy now. Look, so slow and drive straight into it. What would you do with a brain if you had one? So as we come round the corner, I notice something else here. Two lanes go into one here. I have no idea where this car thinks it's going. That's the wrong side of the road, mate. It's only quarter to ten and I've already had enough. I have already had enough with people doing daft things and I'm very cheerful. As you can see, there's a car badly parked on double yellow lines and a Rod Stewart wannabe walking away from it. A good bit of parking, mate. Good bit of parking. Nice fucking purple trousers as well, you moron. I told you I was in a happy mood. It's time for a guessing game. As you can see, I'm about to pull up to this red light. When it turns green, there's a car behind me that literally uses the horn after about oh, half a second. So all you've got to do is guess the make of car that's behind me. That's all it is. It's not that difficult. All you've got to remember is who are the most self-entitled, impatient, snot gobbling morons on the road at the moment and you will come up with the answer so watch the green light and listen out for the horn it's probably about a second before it bibs someone is are people allowed to put their fucking cars in gear or something before you start bibbing you impatient git you haven't got long for your guesses. Here's the countdown timer. Yes, of course, it's a fucking Audi. And now look at it indicate as well. Always an Audi. Now bear in mind, all the clips you've seen so far is all on one day. And you sort of like think, I can't see any more idiots, can I? Well, I can. There's Epsom Racecourse to our right-hand side. The car in front of me seems to think it's a jockey and riding a horse because it wants to turn right and go onto the racecourse. Mm. 
What are you turning right to? You're going onto the race course itself. There is no right turn. Not unless you're a fucking horse. And now I get this one. This one here who blocks up the road. I'm turning left, so it doesn't apply to me. It doesn't affect me, rather. But there's someone even behind us now that's even more stupid than that white car driver. Unless you're a fucking horse. The Fiat 500 here. You've seen the situation. Why make it worse? Really? Look at that. How stupid can you be, you lot? And speaking of stupid, this one here comes up quite a lot on the channel. When you see a sign like that, you can be in that lane, but when you see someone indicating right in front of you, why would you go behind it? It's bizarre. You're just going to be stuck there while we, in this lane, go past you. You're just, you're blocking yourself in. I don't understand it. And like with all the other videos that I've done on this subject, you will see that people will defend it. That red car, he's got, he came from so far back that there was no way that he could see if anyone was indicating. You got this idiot professional driver that just goes over to keep clear, and then you got the Audi. None of them are indicating right. The professional driver eventually indicates right, but the red car is going straight on. And there's a car in front of it, more than one car actually, that's turning right. So you're either going to do two things there, aren't you? You're either going to push in, so you're basically queue jumping, or you're going to be sitting there waiting for everyone that you've just overtaken to go past you. And to be fair to him, that's exactly what he does. He doesn't try to push in, he waits for a gap, and then he moves over. And he got really lucky, because I've seen lots of people have to wait at that red light because there's people in front of them turning right. And all it is, is common sense. He's doing nothing wrong legally, it's just common sense. Why get behind someone that's turning right? Now, this isn't common sense. It's the same driver that's behind me now. As we're coming up on the slip road to enter the A3, it goes past me, and it's a terrible merge onto the A3. So not only does he show lack of common sense, just bad driving in general. It goes over the solid lines here, straight over into the middle lane. Just not, not the way it's done. Now in this clip, we're looking at the red car. It's got a P on it, so it's a new driver. Apparently it's a new driver. It's not very good though. God. Now in this clip, you can see this learner in front of us going out to the right hand lane. For me, that only means one thing, that it's going to be turning right up ahead at the next junction. So move over to the left. It's quite simple. Even when it starts indicating, no one moves over to the left. If you look up there in the distance, there is another learner that's doing exactly the same thing, that's turning right at the traffic lights. But no one is actually moving over to the left. Again, it's bizarre. Why would you get behind someone that is turning right? Even professional drivers, this great big lorry next to me, is going straight on. And it won't be able to because there's at least two learners up there that's turning right. Now he should be able to see over the top of everyone to see them indicators. Again, you're doing nothing wrong being behind them, but it's just common sense. You're just going to be waiting there. Oh, fuck off. It's not our fault that you can't get in the correct lane. And yes, I was very aggressive there, but I'm fucking fed up with doing everyone else's thinking for them. So in this clip, we're on the good old M25. We're looking at that car there. You see that great big gap behind me? Huge. 
could easily get in there, can't it? If it wants the next junction, which it does. But, oh no, it can't do that. It's too important for that, or too stupid, one or the other. Will it get in there between me and the lorry? Oh no, it's far too important and far too stupid to do that. It would prefer to do this, what he's going to do now. Oh dear. Well, I've seen enough stupid people for one day. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.